Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Responding to Comments. We're in for a doozy here. This is Ernum. Ernum has something that is vaguely considered a YouTube channel. This is his biography. He is a PhD in mathematics and good at LSTR. I listen to biology, chemistry, master of both, physics, computer science, and engineering. Ah! He's supposedly a peer of mine. A scientist, researcher, professor at LSTR University. Outsmarted Howard Stern. So, I'm gonna just take this at face glance. This is a shit post and none of this is real. But! For funsies, let's say this is true. Even though Ellis Stir University doesn't seem to exist. We got a man in STEM. Now let's see what a man in STEM, who probably hasn't taken a fucking humanities class in his entire life, commented on my video. In the land of traitors, rattlesnakes and alligators, right away, right away, come away, come away, right away, right away, come away. away. Our Union. Take a look at the comments, shall we? War is completely different. When you have a fight, rations, weapons, and supplies are important. War is going to be short if the enemy doesn't have a long-term plan on the war. Okay. Can we just stop roasting the Confederates? No. The hell did they do to you? Own you. What a charming individual. I, being the smart, smarmy individual I am, respond thusly. Again, I use Google voice to text with comments. The level of effort involved to responding to people is this in, is this in question. Most amount of effort calling, texting, using Google Voice to text to text my shit for me, making a YouTube video and sending it up. You can guess where we are with my willingness to fucking put effort in. Yeah? They, are, they are a defunct traitor. I, traitor, traitor, Google Voice to text that is, is a... Um, I forgot the word for like when people are like hateful towards folks with autism, but keep it moving. They are a defunct traitor army. Traitor, traitor, traitor army who stood for terrible things. Does this mean you're a terrible person for being upset that we've been dunking on that, that we're dunking on them? I think it does get bent. A very reasonable response to this smooth brain comment that he so eloquent. Decided to leave a down. And he said, the US did terrible things too. Does it look like I'm roasting them? No. There's another comment on this video that can't be seen, that he did write, that I'm all gonna share with you. He replied, the CIA was allegedly involved in drug trafficking. Duh. The contra, like, like the Iran Contra scandal is one of the most, like, like well-known political controversies of the last fifty years. But sure, the Golden Triangle drug trade. I think that's an actual thing. Sure. The U.S. Army Viet Cong massacring Indians, Vincent Vietnamese, but any more. Literally staying in Iraq for money war and oil, or you have no argument. Um, so first of all, everything minus this last line, he said is true. The United States has done some genuinely heinous bullshit. In fact, this week it came out that the Pentagon has been running um, disinformation campaigns in the Philippines trying to spur 
vaccine hesitancy in response to preventing the Chinese government's version of the of the COVID vaccine from being able to go out. And, 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 and lots of people in the Philippines have died as a result of that disinformation campaign. They continued, in fact, to do it after the Biden administration told them to stop. So we've established the United States government does some heinous shit. I'm a lefty. I ain't going to dispute that. Again. Again. What does that have to do with the Confederacy? What does that have to do with the Confederacy? Absolutely nothing. Just like with his previous comment where he was talking about war or some bullshit. None of this has to do with why it's bad to roast the Confederacy. The Confederacy, the government that literally copied and pasted the United States Constitution and just scrawled in at the top, but no black people. Like, like that's a joke, but quite literally, the, one of the handful of changes that were made to the U.S. Constitution, to the Confederate Constitution of the, the Constitution of the Confederate States of America, was that an amend was a was a line line item that said black people can never be considered people and will always be considered slaves and cannot earn get and cannot have earned freedom in any way the president davis the president of the confederacy literally said in 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 in, 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 in a writing of in the in 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 a, in a newspaper in atlanta said verbatim the 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 underlying principle the, the the underlying principle of the confederacy is the adherence to the truth that the black man is inferior to the white man now granted i changed some language there because i'm not trying to get banned off of youtube so states rights to do what exactly that's not in dispute. This Confederacy, the Confederacy, the war, the Civil War on the Confederate side was done to keep slaves. That is just a fact. And by and large, I don't, th nothing he has said here, like there is no argument that could be said to rebuke that. Again, remember that this is the video. Just a reminder, this is the video that he is commenting this on. Away down south in the land of traders, rattled snakes and alligators Let's see. right away. It was a countdown series where I'm literally counting things that lasted longer than the Confederacy. So for this guy to get this upset about this, like this means absolutely nothing. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So, everything he said here is true. The CIA has been involved in drug drug trafficking, the Iron Contra scandal, uh, the, the things I mentioned. It says, I have no argument. Now, let's make some guesses here, shall we? There has been an influx of whites of white supremacists accepting a lot of upper middle class uh uh hispanic folks latina folks you know because gotta grow the base and there's just something about you know upper middle class upper class hispanic folks that just seem to love a lot of the stuff going on white supremacy and for some reason seem to I uh, pretend it is. In fact, I believe a handful of the mass shootings that were done by hate groups last year were perpetrated by individuals who are part of those ethnic groups. So here, so we're gonna. T so I'm gonna take a guess and say either you're one of those dipshits that fell down that rabbit hole, or your family are beneficiaries. Were were met, your fan? You have Confederate heritage in your background. Lots of Mexican folks fought for the Confederacy. Lots of Mexican folks fought for the Union. 
it was genuinely a uh, there there was genuinely schisms in deciding who would be who would like treat them less like shit and who would give them the better deal. Lots of Hispanic folks during the Civil War sided with the Confederacy because they did not want to have to deal with the they didn't want to have to deal with the competition of newly liberated black slaves out east coming out west. So if you're a hateful dipshit, that's perfectly fine, but you're still a dipshit. So eat my ass. And uh if you're going to come into somebody's comment section and try and debate them, at the very least, please try using points that actually refute an argument. The again, argument in this case being making a joke about the Confederacy being like old, lasting only four years. And you being upset about that, really, you being so upset about that to the point where me making a misspelled half ass response to you was enough for you to go on a tirade. It's pathetic. And for somebody who is supposedly a PhD in mathematics, you are proof of the reasons why we need the humanities instead. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, your time, and your viewership. If you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, please consider doing so at himedia.gg slash tip. One dollar a month is literally a boon to my mental health and will give you access to exclusive access, exclusive videos, exclusive and, and early access videos, including this one on our Discord. As well, please... I am married. Have a wonderful rest of y'all's day. Thank you so very much for watching. I will see you guys.